Hey guys, how is everybody doing today? I want to share with you something I was reading in the book of Matthew because I want to I want us to pray together. And I think that there's a powerful prayer that we could pray together. Um, it started when I was reading Matthew chapter 12. I was coming to the very end of it, verses 49 and 50. And this word in verse 49 says, And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. So he is stretching out his hand. Stretching out. That word for stretching out is ektino, E-K-T-E-I-N-O, which means to extend, to stretch, or even lay hands, to extend, to stretch, or even lay hands. Like Jesus says, lay hands on the sick and they will be well, right? So I'm okay, I'm looking at this word in Greek, ektino, and I realize, okay, so it's used 16 times in the New Testament. And since it really stood out to me, I'm like, okay, so which one out of the 16? What should I look up, Lord? What do you want me to see? And I believe the Holy Spirit brought me to Acts, the book of Acts, chapter 4, verses 26 through about 33, 26 through 33. In verse 20, in verse 30, it uses that Greek word, ektino, while you stretch out your hand to heal, and signs and wonders are performed through the name of your holy servant Jesus. Hmm, ektino, to stretch out. Extend yourself, right? Extend yourself. Basically, so I am hearing from from people. They're sending me other YouTubers that are that are um, having a word from from the Lord this year. And some people are seeing this this stretching out. Some people are seeing the word releasing. And um, there's another one I heard: um, rest and accelerate. To rest and accelerate. That doesn't really sound right. What do you mean, rest and acceleration? Well. When you, um, when you enter into God's rest, you will move forward. You will accelerate, right? When you rely on yourself, you're working worthless works. But when you rely on the Lord, you are working out. By relying on Him, you're resting, so you're working His works. Do you understand that? So a lot of people are seeing these words stretch, extend, um, accelerate, and it's like what I'm seeing. Flow, let go, and flow. So this year 2022, I believe that as sons of God, we wanna let go and flow. But first we need to know who we are, we need to know what we have, and we need to know how to use it, right? So here's a powerful prayer and I don't believe in praying and begging God for things. I be believe in declaring as if it's already done. Let me just read briefly verses 26 through 33 in Acts chapter 4 before we pray together. Verse 26 says, The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and his anointed. For truly in this city there were gathered together against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, along with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do whatever your hand and your plan had predestined to take place. Ooh, that's powerful. And now, Lord, look upon their threats and grant to your servants to continue to speak your word with all boldness while you stretch out your hand to heal and signs and wonders are performed through the name of your holy servant Jesus and when they had prayed the place in which they were gathered together was shaken and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with all boldness. 
Now the full number of those who believed were of one heart and soul. And no one said that any of the things that belonged to him was his own, but they had everything in common. And with great power, the apostles were giving their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. Hmm. Verse 34, I'm going to give you a little bonus verse. There was not a needy person among them. For as many as were owners of lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold and laid it at the apostles' feet. And it was distributed to each as any had need. What a beautiful way to give, you guys. This is a beautiful way of giving right they didn't they didn't say let's go to a temple and put it in a collection box they didn't say let's select our favorite pastor and pour out money upon him and i'm not saying you shouldn't support anybody in the ministry pastor or whatever but what i'm saying is there's a whole bunch of rich rich pastors that have so much wealth they don't know what to do with it all and then you've got a whole bunch of people today that are in much, much need because they are not doing church right. They're making sure that the church, the building is paid for and the pastor and perhaps his wife and kids that they are making an income to feed that guy's family. But how about the other people that are in need? See, these guys, they got together. They would meet house to house and then what? There was no needy person among them because the ones that have had extra, they sold. <laughs> they sold stuff that they didn't need and they gave to each other so that nobody was in, in lack. But it says they had everything in common, meaning they shared everything so that they would all be even, right? Instead of, oh, I'm, I'm, I've got more than you and you're, you've got less than me. So this was the body of Christ in the book of Acts, you guys. <laughs> now listen, there's some prophetic things in here, I think, for today. Like when I look at verse 26, the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and his anointed. His anointed, you are his anointed, right? If you're in Christ, you're his anointed. Anointed is Christos in Greek. Christos, in Hebrew, it'd be Moshiach, Moshiach. Do you know Moshiach in the Old Testament is used 39 times? But in the New Testament, Moshiach or Christos, it's used 538 times. That's a whole lot of times, right? Compared to the 39, the Old Testament. The Old Testament, everybody was waiting for a Moshiach. And in the New Testament, they're talking about Moshiach and saying, you have been moshiach anointed. Do you understand? Or Christos, Christed. Okay, same thing. So the kings of the earth, they set themselves and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and his anointed. Isn't that similar to what's going on today? For truly in this city, they were gathered to, they were, there were gathered together against your holy servant, Jesus, whom you anointed. And it says there was Herod and Pontius Pilate in, in Jesus' time and, and even the people that were non-Jews, which are called Gentiles, and the people of Israel. But here's the thing that the Lord's telling us in verse 28. It says to do whatever your hand, God, what your hand, God, and your plan, God, had predestined to take place. Now, predestined, proorizo in Greek, means to decide beforehand or even to set a limit. God decided beforehand what would happen to Jesus. He would get sold out. He would get handed over. He would get arrested and then he would be spit on and his beard would get pulled out and they'd throw a crown of thorns on his head, smash him into his skull and they'd beat him to a bloody pulp and then they would make him carry wood to another piece of wood so that the piece of wood that he's carrying, they can just nail his hands to it and the piece of wood that's standing there in the ground waiting for him, they can nail his body to it. hang up his body, nail his feet on that wood, and put that other piece of wood, nail his hands on it, right? String him up there. And he took a severe beating. But this is, 
the, all these guys that were against him, everything that happened, this was predestined to take place. Do you understand that? Predestined. So do you think that the Lord knows what's going on today? Do you think that all these things that are happening are coincidence? Or do you think it's fulfillment of prophetic word from the Lord? Right? It's fulfillment of his prophetic word. And then he says, now, Lord, look upon their threats. Oh, they're making lots of threats. And grant us to continue to speak your word with all boldness while you stretch out your hand to heal. And how does he stretch out his hand to heal today? Through us. He uses our hands to stretch out, to extend, to accelerate, to let go and flow the Spirit of God into others, which brings health and healing, kills any virus there is, and gives them life. And to do it with all boldness. Oh, man. And then when they prayed together, <laughs> they were shaken. The whole place was shaken as they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And they continued to speak the word of God with all boldness. Man, and they were one heart and soul, you guys. One heart and soul. And nobody was greater than others financially or more to material wealth, wealth or anything like that. They, they made each other equals having all things in common. That's what it means. And then it says, with great power and great grace, it was upon them. <laughs> and then they distributed to each other, taking care of each other in those times. Why? I think we're going to have to do that in our time. There's a bunch of people that are losing their jobs, you guys. It could happen to me. It could happen to you. It may have already happened to you. We're missing so much in the body of Christ. So I just, you know, I just want to say this prayer together. What, How I want to do it is I didn't write down a prayer. I'm just holding my Bible. I have lots of notes in my Bible, but I didn't write a prayer or anything like that. My notes are Greek and Hebrew words. Greek and Hebrew words. That's why you, you can see I have a bunch of pens in my Bible. I even have another one that this thing broke off. Do you see that? That broke off. So um, I can't hang it in my Bible anymore. And when I, I didn't want to open my Bible and have my pen fall out. So I just stuck it in the side thing of my car there. But I think I want to just have us, and I'm sorry if this video goes a little long, because you might have thought it's a short video just to say a prayer together. But I kind of wanted to introduce why I want to say this prayer. I think the Lord brought me to tw verses 26 through 35. Um, I know I said 33, but 35 was a good little bonus through 35, 34 and 35 I read. Um, I just think it's for our day, you guys, and I'm going to, I'm going to just go through the word of God, pull out certain words in order and, um, and just have a prayer. So if you want to pray these words with me, feel free. Or if you want to give a loud amen at the end, feel free to do that or do both. Okay. So here we go. Lord, we thank you that even though there are a bunch of them against us, well, we believe that there's more of us than there are of them. And we thank you for your anointing, Lord. We thank you that we are your anointed. And we thank you, Lord, that with this anointing, you will cause us to do whatever your hand and your plan has predestined for us to do. And even as they threat us, Lord, make threats against us, we thank you that your spirit will cause us to speak your word with all boldness. And while you, Lord, stretch out your hand through our hands to heal, and signs or wonders, wonders are performed in your name, people will be shaken and they will be filled with the Holy Spirit. And they too shall continue to speak the word of God with all boldness. And yes, Lord, we are one heart and soul together in this body of Christ. And you have given us great power. And we thank you that we have your great grace, Lord. And we thank you that none of us in Jesus name are lacking. Amen. And amen. So you guys, let's enter this 2022 and look it boldly in the face. Say hello, 2022. The sons of God are coming for you. Amen. 
All right, you guys. Um, love you guys. And I hope you all have a great one. And I'll see you in the next video.